and welcome back to the Cameron McNeish Outdoor Channel. Now today, Scotland's First Minister confirmed that lockdown in Scotland will be eased from next Monday, the 26th of April. And that includes travel to and from Scotland from other parts of the UK. Campsites will be allowed to open and we can travel anywhere on the British mainland. Good news. Now, having said that, prospective visitors to the Scottish islands have been advised to have a COVID test before leaving the mainland. And this is essentially to protect the islanders in areas where infection is very, very low. Now, as I've said in, uh, in a previous video, many of the new airs that are currently in development won't actually be ready in time for next Monday. So please, please be patient. I've been involved with a working group here in the Cairngorms National Park and we've produced a, a camper vanners map of the National Park with lots of information like campsites, disposal points, shops, attractions, all that kind of thing. Now unfortunately there are at least four air type sites in various stages of development in the National Park at the moment and when these are completed and open up we'll add them to new printings of the map so keep your eye on the website which I'll add um, down below at the end here. The prospective areas within the National Park are in Nethybridge, Dalwhinnie, King Usi and Corinakish on Cairngorm. Okay, that's the headline news. Now I want to give you the headboard news. I want to tell you a wee bit about a, a piece of equipment that has made life much more comfortable here in this Autocruise Select 184. Indeed, if you have a Swift or Autocruise Select, a, a Autocruise Rhythm or Autotrail V-Line, or as I suspect most Fiat Decato conversions with rear windows, this could be for you. This bit of kit is the solution to a problem, and here's the problem. The rear lounge in my Select 184 is great, but not if you want to stretch out long ways and maybe watch the telly. What happens, your head either has to lean against the cold window of the rear door, or if the blinds are up, you kind of lean against the blinds and there's a strong danger you might actually damage them. What is needed is some sort of headboard. Voila. One of my subscribers, Steve Dandy, got in touch to say he'd in invented a headboard that quite simply fits into the blind recess of the back door. You can then stretch out in comfort and your head rests against this lovely fabric material instead of the blinds themselves or a cold window. The headrests are easily removed and stored away in the storage area above the driver's cab uh, alongside the table. Now Steve is in full production with these headrests, they come in a variety of colours, the quality is superb and you can see them either on eBay or on Steve's Facebook page and I'll put the details down below. The price is 80 quid for the pair of them. So there you have it, some good news from Scotland and how to increase the level of comfort in a Fiat Takata conversion. Now as I'm heading off first thing on Monday morning, there's a few jobs I really have to finish before I'm allowed out to play, so we'll see you next time. Ciao.